Welcome to Miracle Moment. This is the new mommy season that will absolutely rock your world, up-level your mama game, and skyrocket your business. I'm your host, Ray Ireland, and brand new mama. Like every new mama out there, I enjoyed those quiet, precious moments of those first few months. But after that, there was this stirring in my heart to lean back into business and activate my entrepreneurial brain. I went into a business partnership with a financially failing podcast production company and turned it into a multi six figure production house with over 65 million downloads in just a few months. It's been a roller coaster, and I've learned some unforgettable lessons. As a mompreneur, I know how challenging it can be to balance work, family, and self care and still see the everyday miracles. So each week, I'll share stories of women who have defied the odds to pursue their dreams of motherhood while also building successful businesses. This show will open your eyes so you can see the miracles around you. With more awareness, more miracles will show up. Light a fire in your soul, mamas. You deserve it. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me on another episode. Ray Ireland here. And wow. Okay, this episode is going to be great because as I was sitting here in my bathing suit, you know, it's the end of the day, it's summer, it's hot, we were going to go to the beach. Rafa ended up falling asleep on me and taking an extremely long nap. So we did not go to the beach, but I'm still in a bathing suit waiting for dinner. Sammy's making some dinner right now. And I just decided this would be the perfect time to do this episode. So This episode is going to be all about embracing the belly, ways to feel confident and sexy while being a mama. And I think a lot of mamas can say there's a journey of self-acceptance in how the body changes and transforms as you go from maiden into motherhood. And the beginning of that journey can be a little tough. And again, as I'm sitting here in my bathing suit, I noticed that all day I've been thinking about my mama belly. And as I prepared and thought about what I wanted to share with you guys about how I did embrace my belly and how I also am currently embracing my belly because I'm, I don't have the same body that I used to have. And I look different in a bathing suit. And I would be lying to you if I didn't say that I look at myself in the mirror some days and I don't have the best thoughts or I just I have to lead myself through the journey of self-love and come back to the truth of the matter. I came up with these three A's that really help and they've helped me in the past. They help me now and I'm sure they're going to continue to help me in the future as I continue on this mama journey myself. Another note that I want to say as I dive into this Someone who has been instrumental in my journey of body love and awareness has been one of my best friends, my colleagues. You know, she's been my client as I did my business consulting. I've been her client for Food Body and Soul, and we just totally adore each other. This is Tyler Rowling, and Tyler and I did an episode on Miracle Moment, it was episode 51. It was about choosing fear to drop into presence. And in that episode, go check it out because Tyler shares about her journey, body stories, this journey of inner knowing and psychic awareness around how to lean into fear, when to lean in, when to drop fear, especially when it comes to body and food. So it was a super powerful episode. This is episode 51 that I'm talking about. So if you want to know more about the intuitive eating journey, go check that one out. But for now, and I'm going to be referencing some of the pieces around intuitive eating, that practice helped me so much when I stepped into pregnancy. And still today, I was thinking about my journey with intuitive eating with Tyler specifically, because she really helped guide me into this place of just deep Awareness, acceptance, and appreciation for my body, for food, the way I nourish myself, the way I get fuel, you know, really getting down to the matters, the matter of fact pieces around how we nourish our bodies and gas ourselves up, fuel ourselves up. 
not farting gases. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to edit that part out, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, how we can fuel ourselves up with the food that we're eating and really just enjoy the process too of our bodies and how they transform and shift and change, especially as women, our bodies are changing every single month, every single day. And it just becomes expanded ha 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 when we become pregnant. <laughs> so here are the three A's. I actually already said them. I leaked it out to you guys in advance. But the three A's are awareness, appreciation, and acceptance. And actually, we're going to switch that order because it's actually awareness, acceptance, and appreciation. So I'm going to share a bit of a story with you around how my pregnancy went and how these three pieces really got locked in. And I can say again for today, like as I look at myself in the mirror, as I'm walking around my house in my bathing suit, I also took myself through these three A's to just feel good, feel fun and feel sexy with where I'm at. Even if it's not the vision of really my optimal health and where I want to be, that's totally okay. And I think it's a beautiful thing, actually, when we do have the, these powerful visions of what we want to be looking like and feeling like. And this is not to say don't have those, because I think it's super important to actually have those dreams, those goals and de desires. And it's about just feeling really good with where you're at now, too. So you can enjoy the journey, right? That's what this miracle moment thing is all about. All little miracles along the way. So starting with awareness, the first piece around awareness is that you get to bring the subconscious into the conscious space. If there are subconscious thoughts or things that you're saying to yourself in your mind or even out loud, these not so helpful beliefs or phrases or whatever they are, as soon as they become conscious, it's like, oh, dang, I'm saying that to myself? What? <laughs> you know? I think they just they like sneak in and we don't even notice them for so long. And so if you can just grab that awareness, bring it to the front, that is going to be such a powerful step. And honestly, it's not the prettiest step because you might become aware of what the actual dialogue is. I know for me, during the first few months of my pregnancy, I was so excited to do those monthly photos that everyone else does where you get to see the belly bump grow. And let me tell you, did I do those monthly photos? No. Or those weekly photos some women do. I didn't because I actually hated them, especially in the beginning. I just felt like I was getting fatter. And I remember doing like warrior two. If you guys are familiar with yoga, I was doing warrior two, like looking at myself in the mirror. And all I could see my, was my belly getting bigger and bigger, rounder and rounder. And I was like, this isn't cute. I didn't like it. I didn't like how I felt. I felt like chunkier to move around. Like I'm a pretty athletic build and I like to do a lot. And so I just felt like I couldn't do anything. And I remember just being really down about myself. And it was really interesting because, again, I've done this work went on this intuitive eating journey like five years ago. I knew how important our thoughts were, but I had honestly forgotten because in pregnancy, there's so much that's shifting and changing so fast and all those emotions and chemicals and imbalances and craziness. It's like I forgot these core tools. I remember looking at my belly in those photos and starting to say these negative thoughts and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying that about me and my little baby that's in my belly. I just felt bad, you know? So that was the first time I actually gained awareness. I think I, I most likely cried. I cried pretty much every day in that beginning part of my pregnancy. But I just cried thinking, wow, I can't believe I'm so hard on myself, even right now. And I think that happens to a lot of women because it's supposed to be this celebrated thing. You're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be excited. You're supposed to be taking photos of your belly bump. You're supposed to be loving it. So why wasn't I? And I felt, I felt wrong. I felt isolated. I felt like I wasn't doing it right. I felt like it made me question 
everything. And I just want to say, if you're not loving the beginning of your pregnancy journey, if you're not loving your baby bump yet, that is totally okay. Don't feel pressured into celebrating it yet. And that's why that first step, it's just awareness. We're not going into appreciation yet, right? It's just awareness. Second step, as I moved along through the pregnancy journey was the piece of acceptance. And it was acceptance of the present and what was happening. It was acceptance that, yes, my maiden was dying. My maiden's body was dying. And I was coming into this new me, this new motherly, round, curvaceous, sexy me. And it did not mean anything other than that. And those of you that have been pregnant, that second trimester fire, which I also have an episode that came out just a few weeks prior, all about how to utilize that second trimester fire. Well, during that fire, your libido is also up and your sex drive is up. And so that is the time where, oh my goodness, I just got so into my body, into my curves. And I was like, okay, I can accept this. I can be with this experience because there's a really fun side of it too. And so I remember this is when I gave in to sleeping and eating whenever and however long I wanted. And I just released the judgment and I was like, I am pregnant, y'all. <laughs> and I'm going to love it and I'm going to own it. And there were some women, some moms, older moms that had gone through the journey and they said to me, just enjoy every moment because this is where you get to be that pregnant woman and let people open doors for you. Let people support you and help you and love on you and tell you that you're glowing and just accept it and welcome it into your being. Hey there, fabulous mamapreneurs. I've got something super special for you. Introducing Giggles and Growth, hilarious reflection prompts for the mamapreneur. So just picture this. You're journaling your way through prompts that have you giggling and reflecting like never before. Ever wondered what your business would say if it could talk? Or how about sharing the funniest thing your kids have ever said about your work? But here's the best part. These prompts aren't just about having a good laugh. They're an incredible investment in yourself and your journey as a mompreneur. Taking time for giggles and growth means giving yourself the gift of self-discovery, clarity, and personal growth. As you reflect on these entertaining prompts, you'll gain valuable insights into your business, your role as a mom and as an entrepreneur, and even find hidden gems of wisdom. And the cherry on top? It's absolutely free. No cost, no catch, just a joy-filled opportunity to embrace laughter while empowering yourself. So what are you waiting for? Unleash your laughter and embrace the growth with Giggles and Growth. Click the link in the show notes or visit www.rayireland.com slash giggles dash and dash growth to grab your copy now. Let's make your entrepreneurial journey even more fabulous. Get your giggles and growth freebie today, mamas. You deserve it. And it took a bit to get that. I think as women, we love to give, give, give. And this is one of those powerful times where you get to practice receiving. I remember thinking, I am not glowing right now. Do you see these zits on my face? And I'm hot and sweaty. And my shorts are now riding up my my thick thighs. And everything is just rubbing. I have sweat under my boobs for the first time. Like, what is going on with my body? But that was perfect. And it just, it took me some time to figure that out. <laughs> what helped me get into that space was actually a girlfriend. And that's why I love this podcast because if you don't have this type of girlfriend, let this podcast be that girlfriend for you that gives you this inside tip or story that just gives you that permission slip. And that's what my girlfriend Jewel did. I remember talking with her and I was like, I am just so tired. I can't go to my dance classes. I can't work out. I want to eat healthy, but I can't even think about a salad right now. It makes me feel sick or my celery juice I used to have every single morning. Now I can't even 
smell that stuff in the kitchen. I can't even be close to it. And I remember she just said, you know what, right? I slept for 16 hours every day. And she said, maybe even 18 hours some days. And I ate whatever I wanted. I went to Chick-fil-A if I wanted that. And I just did whatever I needed to do. This is your time. Enjoy it. And I was like, what? Seriously? You slept that much? Like, you did what? And and I just, it clicked. It gave me the permission slip to say, it does not matter who I was before, whatever. We create these like rules around our health and our bodies and what it's supposed to look like, you know, trying to fit into our clothes, trying to wear the cute pregnancy clothes. Mm -mm. And I just got that permission slip. And I remember being like, okay, I'm going to go to Kohl's. I'm going to get myself a ton of oversized tees and long shorts so they don't write up my thick thighs anymore. And so I can just feel comfortable. I'm going to get new sports bras, like all of the stuff. And I just felt so much better. And not to say that we all need a permission slip, but I do think a lot of times we do. We need to hear it from another woman and just to say, screw the rest, enjoy your journey, and just accept that you are becoming a mom and things are going to change. They're going to stretch. They're going to look differently than what you ever thought. And it's going to look differently than what you see on social media. With I remember looking at all these beautiful pregnant women before I got pregnant, just thinking, oh, I want that. I want that. And then I remember seeing some hilarious TikTok reels about women showing what they thought they were going to look like during their belly journey versus what they were actually looking like. And it's like, yeah, hair was not curled and beautiful in the wind. It was tied up in a bun on top of my head to keep me cooler, right? I wasn't wearing these cute onesie outfits, that these beautiful like dresses. No way. Those were so uncomfortable. Those tight dresses that showed off your belly cute. No, I was like in baggy sweats, like workout clothes, sneakers, never wearing heels. I can't imagine some of these ads for women that are pregnant. It's just hilarious. So it's about the acceptance of the truth of the matter is this is your time to enjoy your pregnancy journey. And that is that. Enjoy it however that looks. Get into your belly, into your body, because there's a beautiful human inside of there. And this is not going to last forever. So enjoy it. And that brings me into the third A, which is appreciation. And that's really where you just get to appreciate the journey and realize that this moment is never going to happen again. Your belly may never be this big again. Can you imagine? Because I think so often the thoughts are, oh my gosh, my belly is never going to be that small again. But that is a lie, my friends. That is totally a lie. You never know, and it is actually going to be a lot easier for you to get your belly to be as small as it was than to actually get pregnant again and go through that whole journey. At least that's my feelings. (laughs) And so you may not get pregnant again. Also, even if you want it, that was something that I thought about often. I'm like, I know I want a big family. I know I want to have more kids, but that is not guaranteed. So can you truly appreciate it? Hold so much gratitude for the miracle of the pregnancy and of the belly and how it stretches, how the skin and the muscles stretch. I mean, it truly is just so fascinating. And so this moment of appreciation, it did not kick into gear for me until way down the line. And I want to talk about, I had my first photo shoot and it was just with my mom. My mom was taking the photos. We went to my favorite beach, Wind and Sea, here in San Diego. And it was just beautiful. There was no one there. We went early in the morning. And I remember I had like my bathing suit on and just like a shawl wrapped around my hips. And that was the first time where I really felt like I appreciated my belly because I finally felt like, wow, I did my makeup. I did my hair. I got myself just a little more like juiced up about myself and the journey. And seeing those photos just made me cry. And it was such a powerful way to activate the joy in the experience. 
So what I want to say to any of you that are struggling with getting into the appreciation, try to do a photo shoot. I know that might sound crazy, but do it with your best friend. You don't have to do anything fancy or expensive or professional. Just do it for you for the experience of it. I never even showed anyone those photos, actually, now that I think about it. It was totally just for my own embodiment of the journey and to say, yes, this is me. Yes, I am beautiful. Like wear something that makes you feel beautiful and pregnant, not beautiful and like your maiden self, beautiful and pregnant. Go somewhere beautiful to do them. Maybe it's just even in your home, just laying down. That is enough. But do it to to infuse that fire within you, that creative joy that I think so many women get from photo shoots, whether you will admit this or not, (laughs) but just to really be able to see yourself. And I think that's the magic of a photo. And it's funny because I think back to that first photo shoot versus the last photo shoot I did. By the end, Sammy and I had hired one of our friends who's a photographer to go do photos at the beach. And I'm looking at it right now because it's actually on the wall behind my recording setup. One of the photos from that photo shoot, these photos are legacy photos. They are photos that will be in our family forever. Rafa will see them and see him himself in my belly with Sammy and I there and just these beautiful beach landscapes. And there in that final photo shoot, it was amazing because I could really see the like tears in my eyes from how joyful I was in the experience. I could see the confidence. And all that had been created within me as this mothering part of me was just getting nurtured. It's like it had been getting baked in the oven and you could smell the confidence of me becoming a mom in these photos. So that's the second piece that I would say for appreciation. Do that first photo shoot whenever you're ready. You know, you've already got the awareness. You're already accepting it and you're ready to step into the appreciation. You want to activate it. Do that first photo shoot. And last, do a final photo shoot right before you're going to pop. That is going to be the most incredible transformation that you get to see and really appreciate for years, years, years to come. So that's the beauty of it. I think it just brings so much awe to embrace that belly, to embrace the journey of motherhood and pregnancy, and to really just feel that confidence, feel that inner sexiness while being a mama. And I think that nine month journey of being pregnant, and for those moms, I'll say real quick for those moms who have already, there are, you're already mom. You're like, oh, well, I didn't do that while I was pregnant. I, I needed this podcast episode before. You know, if you're a mom, you can still take yourself through these three A's. Like I said, I still need to do these daily because I still look differently. I'm still in the postpartum recovery. By the way, that can last a lot longer than just a month or a few months. It can actually be quite a long journey of coming back into maybe your previous body. For some women, you won't go into your previous body. So it is the journey of the awareness, the acceptance, and the appreciation that you get to be on. I think it is helpful if you are pregnant and you can listen to this episode because that nine months is like this vortex of energy where you get to practice before the baby's here. You get to practice while you are still the center of your life. Because once that baby comes, it for sure shifts. So it's that practicing. But moms, if you are already on the other side, you have your babies outside of you, (laughs) then you can continue to practice. This is a forever practice. But I will emphasize, if you're a mother, if you're a woman who knows someone that's pregnant, whatever stage they're at in their pregnancy, please share this. Because It's just nice to talk about your belly with someone else who gets it. And it's nice to talk about your belly and to know that you're not alone in the journey of questioning and doubting and not loving it because that's what it's all about is actually going through that journey 
and coming out on the other side, being in the awe, being in the appreciation and being in just the wonder of what is happening inside of you. It's God coming down into human form and creating the most epic bundle of joy that you're going to be just enraptured with for the next many years. So what a joy it is. And I think the thing that I just heard actually for myself to say to myself right now is that, yeah, if you're on the other side of it and you still have this like mom belly and maybe I could reframe that actually, we're creating the miracles. We're all on the journey here together. (laughs) This belly that you're maybe not as comfortable with or don't love as much, maybe your mom body is so sexy because you've been picking up kids and running all around. (laughs) I think that's actually what's going to happen to me. I'm going to have that dream mom bod. But for right now, I noticed that my belly, it still feels like it's in the after, (laughs) the aftermath of the pregnancy. And can I take myself through the awareness of saying, wow, okay, there's maybe a little bit of judgment there. Like, Ray, you should, you should be looking differently by now. You've been working out. So why isn't it working? I've definitely been saying that to myself. Then there's the acceptance of accepting. Yeah, I do have a baby. I do have a new body. This is all a new experience. And then lastly, the appreciation. And you can just go back into the past too. It doesn't have to be appreciation for the present. It can be appreciation that my body did that, that my body went through the journey of pregnancy, that it expanded out so far. Like it felt like I had not just one watermelon in my belly, but it felt like I had four. I'm short waisted. So Rafa was sticking out there, I got to say. So can I have that appreciation for all that it just did, all that my body overcame and all the power and the life force that ran through me? So. I will leave us there with that. How can you bring those three A's into your life today after listening to this awareness, acceptance, and appreciation? And let's just share this. Share this with a girlfriend. Share this with a friend. Share this with another woman because we just need to hear that we're not alone on this journey. I love you all. Many blessings on your mama preneur journey, and I'll see you on the next episode. Hey mamas, that's a wrap for another epic episode on Miracle Moment, the new mommy season. 